Today, I'm going to be starting a new programming language, C Sharp. All right, so what is C Sharp? Well, it's not exactly sharp, and it's not exactly new. I think it was created sometime around 2002, but it's certainly more new than C++ uh, plus, and definitely C. But anyway, C Sharp is, well, a better program, and I've heard it's much better than C++. Proof I have of this is that I can actually use colored text. C++, get on with it. You are not up to the standards. But anyway, well, in C Sharp, you can make all kinds of things, including games. So we'll start from uh, the beginner's tutorials, uh, and we'll work up our way from there. I think the beginner's tutorials will be like the first 200 or so of them. Anyway... Oh, uh, let's just begin. Now the thing is, uh, you have to use the system, which is basically just a bunch of libraries and stuff that uh, you need to get your stuff working. Then you have to have a maybe so loop that's basically your command center. Uh, not yet the command center. It's just like an onion. So as Rex said, it has layers. All right. So class first time and here is the actually important stuff now we'll get to what all of this means in the end of the beginner courses but all you need to know is that this inside here is where we have our command course i mean our command center um how do you type the messages again oh yeah so this is no 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 this is the command center I'm not like the new Boston. Don't make seamless spelling mistakes. So, um, let's go inside and see what kind of things it has to offer. All right. So, in the command center, um, we're gonna put something to, I guess, write something. So, console, which is basically just the thing, write line. Then you have to put all these fancy crap, and now you can finally write your first line. It's not like in C++, you have to put like count and all this crap. Okay, does that actually work? Maybe. Maybe it works. We don't know. Yeah, yeah. Because this is not C++. This is C sharp. And it's much more sharp than C++. This is C sharp. And it's much more sharp than C++. I guess the compiler is much more so. I, I don't know. That was a failed joke. But anyways, um, let's say that we want to write something in here. Mm. Let's say we want to print a shape. So now how are we going to do that? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and print a hexagon, which will probably be a bad idea. But what it's going to do is it w for each separate thing you do, it's going to make a new line. So if you write two things on two different lines, C++, it would put them as on the same line. But you know, it's sharper, the compiler, when you're in C sharp. Got it? So that means that they're put on separate lines even without your command. So I think what I'm going to do is, well, put a space here because of the first thing. And then, um, no, no periods. Then I'm gonna put the other type of flash here. Why the period over here? Other type of flash over here. Then I'm going to put control dot right line, and I'm going to, you know, put the final flashes. And the, oh no, and that one's gonna make a mess. What the? And then you have that. And that's going to be our oversized hexagon. So, guess that that's our weird looking hexagon. Oh geez, oh geez. Maybe that was because of this. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. You have to put a semicolon. Wait, why is this? Okay, I think I have to rewrite the quote. What the hell? Dude, that's weird. But anyway, I guess that's a bug. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a semicolon because I'm a dummy bummy. I didn't do that before. Dude, why is this one not working? Guess I'll just have to write that entire thing again. Hmm. 
this is a testing run. What the f So now, for some reason, the compiler is screwing up. I know that the compiler screwed up because I've made many more programs with this exact configuration, and it still worked. So the compiler on this exact program decided to fail on me. But I know that this actually works. So take note, and the next time, we will be looking at variables. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.